President Hassan Rouhani pledged a completely peaceful nuclear future for his country. The statement has been generally welcomed by the international community and is seen as a step by Tehran towards a more moderate stance in the global political arena. Let's have a look at what Iran's newly elected leader has already done. Well, Hassan Rouhani's vow, his no military ambitions for Iran's nuclear program, has become Tehran's latest move to establish warmer relations with its critics. Earlier, a renowned lawyer and human rights activist, Nazrin Soutadeh, was released from prison, along with 10 other political prisoners. Another sign of a new approach, the country's leader exchanged letters with Barack Obama, which were later described as positive and constructive. The appointment of Western-educated Mohammed Zarif as foreign minister has already been praised. As RT's Marina Portnoy reports, some of Washington's actions could jeopardize the prospect of open dialogue. The great empire and its favorite nemesis. For decades, relations between the U.S. and Iran have been ice cold. But in recent months, attitudes have been thawing as Tehran and Washington have taken steps to overcome years of hostility. To begin with, President Hassan Rouhani's appointment of Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif was received positively by Western officials this summer. Zarif, a Western-educated former Iranian ambassador to the UN, has been called a worthy negotiating partner. The appointment has been seen by some as an olive branch to the White House. Another optimistic development came in July when 131 members of the U.S. House of Representatives wrote a letter to U.S. President Barack Obama encouraging him to use the opportunity offered by President Rouhani for the improvement of bilateral relations. This comes as Iran's new model moderate leader who has promised more freedoms at home and constructive engagement with the world travels to New York for the United Nations General Assembly debate. However, on the heels of Mr. Rouhani's arrival, the U.S. government is preparing to seize a 36-story Manhattan skyscraper that prosecutors say is secretly owned and controlled by the Iranian government. A U.S. judge has ruled that the owners of this Fifth Avenue building known as the Alvi Foundation and Asa Corporation, transferred rental income and other funds to an Iranian state-owned bank, a violation of U.S. sanctions. This seizure couldn't have come at a worse time, considering that the leaders of the U.S. and Iran could possibly meet face-to-face -face next week. Reporting from New York, Marina Portnaya, RT.